hello everyone today we are going to study about the infertility which comes under gynecology unit 3 so in that what are the things we are going to study we are going to study about the introduction of infertility definition risk factors causes of infertility in the men and women types diagnosis treatment counseling and the ethical and legal aspect of ERT so these are the content we are going to study in this unit so starting with introduction first infertility is a significant local and medical problem affecting the couples worldwide so it is a problem which will affect the couple in the worldwide okay and infertility refers to an inability to conceive after having regular unprotected sex so it is a uh, inability to conceive after having regular um, it means even after having regular intercourse without any contraceptive also they will not get pregnant okay and average incidence of infertility is about 15 percent globally and some causes can be detected and treated and whereas others cannot means the causes of infertility sometimes some causes can be treated not all the causes and unexplained infertility constitute about the 10 percent of all the cases means among 100 percent 10 percent is unexplained okay they don't know the exact cause of infertility next one is according to mayo clinic usa 20 percent of cases of infertility are due to problem in men 40 to 50 percent cases are due to in women 30 percent cases are due to both men and women and india approximately 15 to 20 percent of couples are infertile this is the incidence of infertility definition of infertility infertility is the failure to achieve a birth ever a 12 month period of unprotected intercourse or it is a infertility is the inability of a sexually active non-contraceptive couple to achieve the pregnancy in one year next one is risk factors of infertility so in that the causes of infertility in man and woman i have told you like uh, some percentage like almost 20 percent because of men and 40 to 50 percent because of women and 20 percent because of men and women both okay so now first we'll study about the causes which is related to man in men which can cause infertility the first one is low sperm count that is less than 10 million sperm per ml of semen that is one reason normal count is 20 million sperm per ml of semen or more or with no sperm that is absence of sperm in semen that also cause infertility in the man next one is low sperm motility that is sperm are immotile and cannot swim okay so swim means it, it can't reach to the uh, fallopian tube or ovary to fertilize with the female egg or abnormal sperm that is unusual shape more difficult to move or fertilized egg okay it, it causes testicular infection testicular cancer or testicular surgery you see in this picture see normal this one is normal sperm shape okay and these all are abnormal sperm shape like two tails or big tails okay next one is overheating testicle see these all are the causes related to men okay ejaculation disorder varicelle introduce varicose vein in the scrotum undescended testicle hypogonadism that is testosterone deficiency it is a male hormone genetic abnormality and mumps that is testicular inflammation hypospadiasis and chlamydia infection next we are going to study about in women which can cause infertility first one is ovulation disorder means premature ovarian failure before age of 40 so before age of 40 if there is ovarian failure so it can the woman can't get pregnant next one is polycystic ovary syndrome or pcod is a very common problem among women nowadays it is cyst in the ovary then hyperprolactinemia in non-pregnant state see in the non-pregnant state if the prolactin hormone is more that can be causes of infertility poor egg quality 
नेक्स्ट वन इज प्रॉब्लम इन यूट्रस एंड फिलिफियन ट्यूब लाइक इन सर्जरी इन द यूट्रस एंड फिलिफियन ट्यूब सब म्यूकसल फाइब्रोइड्स और एंडोमेट्रियोसिस और प्रीवियस टेलेशन ट्रीटमेंट नेक्स्ट मेडिकेशन मीन्स इफ वुमेन इज टेकिंग दिस इज द मेडिकेशन लाइक नॉन स्टेरोडल ड्रग्स लाइक एस्पिरिन और इवोप्रोफिन कीमोथेरापी ड्रग्स रेडोथेरापी ड्रग्स और एनी अदर इलीगल ड्रग्स इज इफ वुमेन आर ऑन दिस ड्रग्स दी कैन गेट प्रेगनेंट नेक्स्ट वन इज टाइप्स ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी सो देर आर नॉर्मली टू टाइप्स वन इज प्राइमरी इनफर्टिलिटी वन इज सेकेंडरी इनफर्टिलिटी primary infertility means when a woman is unable to ever bear the child means the woman who did not get pregnant once also okay secondary infertility means when a woman has been pregnant but failed to achieve the live birth after having a live birth previously means woman she got pregnant but she is unable to continue the pregnancy that is secondary infertility primary means she never got pregnant next one is diagnosis of infertility so first one is laparoscopy okay they are going to visualize the bladder uterus okay or abdominal area through laparoscope to see that any abnormality any structural abnormality in the female genital organ next ultrasound transduder that is per vaginal ultrasonography next we are going to study about the treatment for infertility what is the treatment for infertility so in the man in case of premature ejaculation or erectile dysfunction behavioral approach or giving suggestion to the male or medication in case of see based on the causes we are going to plan the treatment for both for male and female so in case of varicelli if there is a varicose vein in scrotum it can be surgically removed in case of blockage of the ejaculatory tract sperm can be extract directly from the testicles and injected into an egg in a laboratory in case of retrograde ejaculation sperm can be taken directly from the bladder and injected into an egg in laboratory and surgery for the epididymal blockage a bypass of the blockage can be performed called vasoepididymostomy vas defense is reconnected to the epididymis so based on the cause we have to plan for treatment so in the woman if it is ovulation disorder fertility drugs are prescribed that is clomiphene to encourage the ovulation in case of pcos that is polycystic ovarian syndrome metformin client who do not respond to the clomiphene means if after giving clomiphene or so if there is no improvement we are going to give metformin to the patient especially when client with pcos linked to the insulin resistance then follicular stimulating hormone that is a hormone produced by pituitary controls estrogen produced by the ovaries and it stimulate ovaries to mature egg follicles next human menopausal gonadotrophins that also example brevalis so these all are hormonal drugs we are going to prescribe to the woman human chorionic gonadotrophins given in combination with the clomiphene as hmg plus fsh this all are hormonal drugs and it stimulates follicle to ovulate the egg or it is given im or subcutaneous that is intramuscular or subcutaneous tissue then gnr and rs okay for women who ovulate premature follicles during the hmg treatment that is hormonal treatment okay delivers the constant supply of gnr hormone to pituitary gland which alters the production of hormone that allows doctors to induce follicle growth with the follicle stimulating hormone and it is given by spray or through subcutaneous injection next one is bromocriptin stimulate the ovulation by inhibiting the production of prolactin and prolactin stimulate the milk production in lactating mothers example parlodel or cystocet it is given oral or iv next one is infertility counseling infertility counseling deals with the psychosocial impact of infertility in terms of intervention 
treatment and after effects of both successful and unsuccessful treatment. It also involves therapeutic works to help the patient cope with the consequences of infertility and the treatment. So if you can understand that that if women are unable to get the like couples they are not able to uh, get the baby obviously they will be under stress so they need the counseling they need the session of counseling okay it may be included intervention treatment or after effects like objectives and need of infertility counseling are informed consent to offer coping strategy to couples to facilitate the decision making to offer preparation for procedure to help client in achieving a better quality of life and to provide the genetic counseling next is role of nurse in infertility counseling the role of nurse is receiving the patient and family and make them accessible and comfortable for the counseling and fertility nurse specialist provide care for the individuals and couples before during and after the fertility treatment Nurse need to be obtained history of the prenatal, family and other relevant history. And nurse has to perform the primary physical examination and collect other relevant information regarding the patient of reports. And give psychological support throughout the counseling. Collect other information about the test, reports and documents. And establish a plan of care with the family and coordinate care with other healthcare professionals. Maintain privacy and confidentiality, performing insemination, performing embryo transfer and ensure the follow up and supportive service to the individual and family during the counseling. So this is the role of nurse in counseling, infertility counseling. So with this we have completed the treatment of infertility. Thank you everyone.